Two people now behind bars, including a South Florida rapper who actually sings a popular song about murder. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa joining us live now with more on the suspects arrested today. Christian. That's right. And take a look here. Just moments ago, we obtain this rapper's mugshot from the Broward County Jail. Uh, he has turned himself into authorities tonight. He and his alleged accomplice, accomplice now behind bars. Ironically, one of his biggest hits on YouTube is titled Murder on My Mind. Up and coming Florida rapper YNW Melly, also known as Jamel Demons, is now in jail, charged with murdering two men he called his friends. 21-year-old Anthony Williams on the left and 19-year-old Christopher Thomas Jr. Local 10 news cameras were rolling back in October outside the Miramar Memorial Hospital emergency room. Detectives say the two victims arrived here in this 2018 Jeep, the back windshield appearing to be shot up. Both men pronounced dead moments later from gunshot wounds. Investigators telling us 20-year-old Cortland Henry drove both victims to the hospital, claiming they were victims of a drive-by shooting. Looking for my life, trying to make sure so I don't get hit. And you telling me... You work, you tell me about shit. I don't, man, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit. I don't, I'm, man, I'm driving. I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit. You know what I'm saying? I, what I'm going to be worried about? It. You know what I'm saying? I, I know it's not for you to worry about. Shit crazy, bro. But if you tell me it happened there, there's got to be some evidence there. There's going to be broken glass, just like there's broken glass over here from when you guys opened the, the doors and stuff like that. Okay, there's going to be broken glass over there when the windows got shot out there's going to be casings from the people shooting at your car okay there's going to be stuff evidence over there okay right now there's nothing the next day the rapper tweeting quote they took my brothers from me over jealousy but detectives say the claims didn't add up with what they found and following their forensic investigation, Wednesday night, police announcing the arrest of YNW Melly and Henry, accusing the rapper of shooting and killing his two so-called friends. All right, y'all, you're now at the YNW Melly video. I figured this was a perfect time to bring this video to the channel during the current series that I'm doing, Murder Culture. YNW Melly trial starts this June, June 2023. I think they're in the phase where they are picking jury members and so on and so on. So I figured this would be a good time to do the video. Now, I've always wanted to do a video on Melly. Um, for some reason, I just kind of never really got around to it. But I think, you know, I think it runs pretty deep with Melly. I'm not sure if I could fully believe it was cold-blooded murder and there was not something even more sinister behind it. Now, don't get me wrong. It's completely evil. Just you know, in general, because these are two close friends of his, supposedly, you know, so someone that would straight up brutally murder their friends while sitting behind them in a car, basically, is pretty evil act in itself. In this video, I just want to dig it up and, and see rather or not, do we completely believe it was just straight up cold blood murder? Or was it some kind of deeper ritual meaning behind it? Because Melly has a lot of symbolism. Melly talked about the devil a lot. You know, he talked about the devil having a hold of his soul a lot. Um, he had ritualistic voodoo type symbolism in the Murder on My Mind video. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot. So at the end of the day, you know, there's a very good chance that this could have been a ritual 
You know, this could have been the price for fame. And it came very quick. But also, we have to factor in, like, a mental disorder with him as well. Because he could have very well had personality disorder or, you know, been bipolar or whatever you want to call it. Schizophrenic. You know, I don't know. Um, but this could have very well been... You know, his last name being demons, this could have very well been the demons that lived inside of him. So I want to use this video to go into that in more detail. I do want to start off on those personalities first with Melly, kind of dig into who he is a little bit more with this video. I am going to read the official script, the official narrative of what happened that night. So we definitely will get into that later in the video. In the meantime, check this out. <laughs> so what you got tattooed on your face? Tell me about it a little bit. What? On my face? Yeah. We got the heart on this side. Yeah, heart. What's that say above your eyebrow on that side? Which side? Oh, either one. What's I know, it? I know, I know I got Sat Chase right here. That's my brother. That's my twin. Okay. I got Juvie. Juvie? Yeah, that's my brother. Just a lot yeah. of your friends who passed? Yeah. No, nah, them my niggas right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's right there. My bad. I wouldn't get none of my friends tattooed on my face until they died. Yeah, nah, I'm not shit. a good friend like you are, apparently. Nah, this shit for life. <laughs> How many personalities do you have? Six. Six? Yeah. W what are the six? I can't. I can only reveal three. <laughs> Wait, why? Because the other three aren't going to be able to be um, released until next year. Oh, okay. Okay, so tell me the, the three. You got Marcus. You got you got um, YNW Melly, the rapper. And you got Melvin. But Melvin just started rapping, too. So what are the three personas? Like, what's different about each one? Melvin don't play no game. For okay. sure. He on your ass. Melly, he just, you know, he cool. He funny. He, um, he, he kind of, he cocky. He, he cocky? He be talking this shit. And okay. All that. But he, I think I met him when he walked in. Yeah, I think. I talking know. shit? <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, you know, Marcus, he the little... Marcus, he the one, like, I'll be in disguise, like, if I got, like, the shades on okay. and a hat. Melvin, the other, my other person inside, Melvin, that motherfucker, yeah, every day, all day. Think that's all you be thinking about. Shit, some people think about pussy when they wake up. Some people think about shoes. Some people think about weird shit. That nigga wake up with the murder on his mind. And I'm like, hey, right, bro, do you? Got his personality. I really do, though, Melvin and shit. He been inside of me. Like, he been in, like, mentally, like, inside of me, but I ain't have a name for him, like, when I was in the streets. Until one day, I met Hennessy, and then he was just, I looked in the mirror, he was like, Melvin! And I was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is you? <laughs> I think I got mixed personalities. We got, like, a contract going on. Like, I guess he get, like, 12 hours, and I get 12 hours. <laughs> 12 a.m., I can't control it after that. So it's just. He the, ain't no putting him away, none of that shit. That boy, I, Melvin is in love with when she you hurt Melvin. Bitch, you got a Facebook. I'm coming. <laughs> that was Melvin, my bad. I swear to God, that was Melvin. <laughs> that was Melvin. The difference, like, who Melly and who Melvin? Nah, Melvin. Can't say too much. Wait, Melvin? All right, Melly is loving, genuine, turned up, happy, and just loving, you know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson. Melly is Michael Jackson. Literally, Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? But he's still thugging it, still street, but he, to an extent, he know how to, he know how to control, he know how to control his anger in himself. But Melvin, I only let him out at nighttime, and I need to stop doing that. Like when the night hits, he really come, and it's like Melvin is just like once you play with Melly to a certain extent, Melvin just don't like that. Melvin on your ass, no cap. He on your ass. He don't play. Don't fuck with him. Who is Melvin? I'm Melly right now. You feel me? I woke up. Like, I wake up with Melly. Sometimes I go. I go sleep. Melvin. All right, y'all. So now that we have kind of gotten to know YNW Melly a little bit better. You can ask yourself, what do you actually believe about his, you know, split personalities? Do you think 
because he actually did the things that he talked about in his music, you know, as in he actually killed his two best friends. He kind of told you before it all happened symbolically that he would do this because Melvin was the one that always had murder on his mind. So you could ask yourself, is this you think this is just an image he pushed for his music and it ended up working out or, you know, it was something that he was doing, you know, he was always doing and it just he caught on to it as he got big and he used it for an image. Or do you think that this is real mental illness and that he really may have had these six demons living inside of him? Guess what he said in that clip? Rewind the clips back of him talking about the mixed personalities if you didn't catch it. He said he didn't meet Melvin until he found Hennessy. Now, I got the video on my other channel where we talked about alcohol and how alcohol basically is a spirit. When you get so drunk, you're not yourself anymore. You turn into the spirit that inhabits your body because of alcohol. Different alcohols are named by different spirits that inhabit you. So he said he didn't meet Melvin until he found Hennessy. So you can ask yourself, was these demons, these split personalities living in him the entire time? And then when he opened himself up to the spirit, that's when he met Melvin and he met the voice inside of his head. Because that goes to like that schizo kind of stuff as well, where people hear voices in their heads, you know. So at the end of the day, this is all kind of a spiritual thing because, that, you know, you know, mental illness on this kind of stuff is real. Yes, it's real. It really does exist. But it's also very spiritual as well. These are spirits that reside in people that cause them to hear voices, cause them to think that there's an alter, you know, person in there. There's a split personality, Melly versus Melvin. And then he started to, you know, tell you that Melvin is this murderous, you know, alter side of me, you know, alter personality. You know, so he's recognizing who that split side of him is. So it it kind of it kind of makes you think that he was very aware of it. And this may have not been just an image at all. So it brings you to another question. Was that Melvin who murdered both of his best friends? Because at the end of the day, you know, there's only speculation on why he actually killed them. You know, I, I, I searched a lot. I searched a lot of um, clips, videos, comments from videos. And you, you can't really get to why he actually killed his two supposed best friends. Mostly in my mind. You know, I get to thinking that this was a ritual, you know, done for the price of fame. But I don't think we'll know the entire truth on why he did it. You know, because it's like this is just one of those things where it's like you bounce back and forth like, damn, did he really have like split personalities? And Melvin was the one that killed him. Because remember, he said Melvin don't come out till after 12. And his two best friends was murdered around 2.30 a.m., Around that three o'clock mark. So so you kind of just bounce back and forth like, damn, was this a sacrifice? Was this a ritual? Or was he really Melvin when he killed him and something just happened and he just went off and shot both of them close range? Like, you bouncing back and forth. But either way it goes, I believe this is a lot deeper and darker than just, you know, some beef and boom. Like, they in the car together first. They ain't beefing too bad. They in the car together. They all riding together. Ain't too much beef going on. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that part in the comments. But we're going to pull up the official narrative of how everything happened. You know, because as always, it wouldn't be right without us reading exactly what happened the night that YNW Melly killed both of his best friends. So let's go on to the next. So it reads, on the night of the killings, October 26, 2018, Williams and Thomas were dropped off at the Memorial Hospital in Miramar, Florida, about 4.35 a.m. by YNW Bortland, which is Cortland Henry. Both men were suffering from multiple gunshot wounds and were already deceased. Bortland claimed the two men were victims of a drive-by shooting by unknown assailants, which I played the clip of the interrogation earlier in the video. 
Police eventually submissed Melly was the shooter and arrested him in Boylan. Boylan was apprehended in Houston and extradited back to Florida to face charges of murder and accessory to murder. Jamel Demons, aka YNW Melly and Cortland Henry have been arrested and charged with two counts of first degree murder. The victims, Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas Jr. were killed on October 26, 2018. The investigation supported by forensic evidence has concluded that Demons shot and killed Williams and Thomas Jr. and that Demons and Henry staged a crime scene to resemble a drive-by shooting. Now, they were dropped off at the hospital at 4.35 a.m. The last time they were seen was around 3 a.m. that night. That gives us a little bit more, you know, evidence that this could have been a ritual killing just by the times that they were killed. We all know what that 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. murder at night symbolizes. So it says YNW Melly was denied bond and then he maintained his innocence in the case. It says in February of 2019, new details about the case emerged to the public, which concluded that Thomas and Williams were shot from inside the car, not from the outside, as Borland claimed. Authorities say that a single 40 caliber shell casing was found inside of the vehicle on the floorboard of the left rear passenger side, which was the side that allegedly 19-year-old Melly was sitting at the time. And here is a picture of how they all were placed in the car. The two that he shot was on the right side, one in the right front passenger, one in the right rear. Melly was sitting in the left rear and Boylan was driving. And I probably will end up blurring some of this picture out right here, but this is how they say the bullets entered through the seat. And it only could have came from the side that Melly was sitting on. It says, according to documents filed in Florida's Broward County on February 14th and released on the Internet this week, which was back February 25th when this article came out. From the scene of the alleged drive-by shooting that resulted in the death of YNW Melly's two friends, fellow rappers YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie, points toward the two men being shot from within the Jeep Compass instead of on the outside of it on October 26, 2018. When YNW Bortland initially drove the victims to the hospital on the night of the shooting, he claimed shots were fired from the outside of the Jeep. They say that a single shell casing which was found inside of a white bag on the car's floorboard contradicts statements made by Bortland stating that the incident was a drive-by shooting. The docs include investigators' claims that Melly and Bortland fired shots from outside of the vehicle to make the shooting appear as a drive-by. In another part of the affidavit, which was written by Miramar Detective, it said that Melly and Bortland drove around with the bodies in the car for a period of time so they could concoct a story about the shooting before they arrived at the hospital, which makes sense, considering the time that they were last seen to when they arrived to the hospital. Florida authorities also shared a Snapchat conversation Melly and his girlfriend had two weeks after the murders occurred. One of the messages from Melly read, quote, this nigga saved my life. He coming everywhere with me because if them crackers come grab me, it's my fault. You forgot? Melly wrote, referring to Bortland, I keep Bortland with me because at the end of the day, he did one of the realest shit in my life, which that would be taking the bodies to the hospital. As previously reported, investigators believe Melly is the trigger man and Bortland is an accomplice for the cover up in this alleged double murder. Melly and Bortland are currently in the Broward County Jail. Both rappers are being held without bail. Melly was officially arrested for the murders of YNW Sack Chasey and YNW Juvie on February 13th. He was charged with two counts of first-degree murder that same day. His accomplice, Bortland, was charged with two counts of first-degree murder along with two counts of accessory after the fact. Now, to wrap this story up, there's not much of a doubt that YNW Melly murdered his two friends, YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. I also don't really see him getting out of the case. I don't see him beating the case. There's too much overwhelming evidence that he sat in the left rear passenger seat of the car and shot both of his friends that were sitting to the right of him. Both basically at point blank range are all sitting in the same car. So he kind of couldn't imagine sitting there being the driver and hearing those gunshots go off right next to you, basically. 
I think they both took gunshots to the head and to the torso as well. So it was pretty, you know, brutal and evil, for lack of a better term. But at the end of the day, it's just downright evil. And just to kind of conclude everything, you know, Melly has a very demonic smirk about him when he smiles. You know, it's not really a smile, you know. It's one of those real demonic smiles, one of those real demonic smirks where you can tell a person has those demons inside of him because they just give off an eerie look. And I only say that just off the smirk that he naturally has. Like, it's not, you know, when that spirit resides in you, it's not something you're trying to do. He just has a natural demonic smirk. You know, so that may be more proof that he really did have those mixed personalities. He really did have those demons inside of him. Makes it even worse that his last name is actually Demons. You know, whatever way you want to pronounce his last name, his last name is Demons. You know, um, so like I said in the beginning of this video, uh, this one was, was pretty deep. You know, because in the article, it said motive behind the killings may have been over money I and mean, something about, you know, one of his friends and his mom. You know, but like I said, I don't think we will ever really know the truth. Maybe it'll maybe more of why he did it will come out during the trial. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't really think we'll know the truth about it. And I honestly don't see him beating the case. So it kind of. You know, it kind of makes you think like, damn, you know, if this was a ritual and paying the price, you know, for fame, it kind of didn't make sense because, you know, you murdered your two best friends, two of your best friends. And next thing you know, you're going to jail for the rest of your life. So you're not, you know, you're not reaping the benefits of anything that you signed those deals for. But at the end of the day, when you play the devil game, when you let the devil get a hold of your soul, anything can happen to you. You can taste that's that's what all of that stuff is about anyway. It's about taste and fame. And it's about what you're willing to do for that fame. And you can be tricked. You could taste it for a few months or a year, and boom, you're in jail for the rest of your life. Or you could be like others. You could taste it for damn near your whole life, but you're going to pay for it in the afterlife. You know, it, it goes, you, you never really know how it's going to go when you play those devil games. And then when you acknowledge it, when you put out to, millions of people that the devil has a hold in your soul. And I'm saying that because that's what he told people. He put it in the music, murder on his mind, mind on his murder. Two of the biggest songs, the mind on his murder song is kind of like he did the murder on my mind song backwards. You know, he did it from another, you know, perspective basically. And, you know, I, I think that story comes from him accidentally shooting one of his friends when he was younger. So he already had this this kind of energy attached to him. And once again, he was just, you know, another pawn, another young rapper that fell into playing that game, fell into playing the devil's game and actually acknowledging the energy and running with the energy and becoming that. You know, he became what he talked and rapped about. So, you know, there's not much, you know, there's not much feelings to have about it. They put themselves in this kind of situation they want to live that kind of life, then you're going, you know, you're going to live through the consequences of your actions, of your decisions, of your choices. And quite frankly, we all live with that at the end of the day. With whatever decision you make, with whatever you got going on in your life. <laughs> like I said, at the end of these kind of videos is make sure you pick God first, you know. Talk to God and uh, any type of thing you have going on in your head that may be, you know, mentally holding you down, mentally having you thinking crazy shit. Acknowledge it through God and ask for strength about everything that you go through. Ask to see a better way before you make your own decisions about what you think you should do. So yeah, man, um, that was the YNW Melly video. Um, it was fun doing this video and researching everything about it. 
you know, just bringing it all back to life since this trial is about to start in a few months. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment. Anything that I may have missed or any future videos that y'all want me to do within this series, y'all already know we working. And with that being said, it's Black Balloon, and I'm going to see y'all soon. I'm out.